When the autopilot is engaged, the side sticks are locked in their neutral position and the rudder pedals remain stationary. Neither will move regardless of any autopilot input. One of the first actions for the crew after gear retraction is to disarm the ground spoilers. This is achieved by pushing the speed brake lever down. Disarm the ground spoilers. The white band at the base of the speed brake lever is no longer visible and the ground spoiler armed message has disappeared from the engine warning display. You are above acceleration altitude with the airspeed increasing. At or above F speed, minimum speed for flap retraction, the flaps can be retracted directly to flap 1. Retract the flaps to 1. Flap 1 is now set. Notice both slats and flaps are extended to the first position. This is 1 plus F configuration. The airspeed is increasing through S speed. Minimum speed for slat retraction. Flap 0 would be normally selected at this stage. To demonstrate automatic flap retraction, we will delay this action. As the speed approaches VFE at flap 1 plus F, the flaps will automatically retract fully when the airspeed reaches 210 knots. Notice the slats remain deployed in their first position. This is configuration 1. There is no automatic retraction of the slats. Set flaps 0. Flap 0 is now set, which can be confirmed on the engine warning display. Notice that the slat flap indications have been simplified. The after takeoff actions are now complete. We will go directly to the descent phase. During descent, the speed brake may be used to increase the rate of descent to correct the flight profile from above or to slow down. During the initial approach phase, speed brakes may be used to increase the rate of deceleration. To use the speed brakes, you must first press down on the speed brake lever, which is spring-loaded into the retracted position. Push down on the speed brake lever. The speed brake lever can now be moved rearwards to any position, depending on the amount of drag required. With the autopilot engaged, the maximum speed brake deflection available is approximately half, even with the speed brake lever moved fully back. The speed brake retraction rate is reduced when flying at high speed. Move the lever to half position. For training purposes, we have called the ECAM wheel page for you to remind you of the indications. The indications are also shown on the ECAM flight control page. We are back to normal display. With some power on at least one engine, the speed brake message will flash amber. Retract the speed brake. The spoiler retraction can be confirmed on the engine warning display by the disappearance of the speed brake memo message. We have activated the approach for you. The airspeed decreases below the maximum speed for flap extension, or VFE, shown on the speed tape by amber dashes. Select flap 1. Notice that an airborne selection from flap 0 to flap 1 deploys the slats only. 
you cannot select flap 1 plus F from flap 0 in the air. The speed has now decelerated to below VFE for flap 2. Select flap 2. Flap 2 is set. At this point, before flap 3 is selected, we have lowered the landing gear for you. Arm the spoilers. No, click on the speed brake lever. The ground spoilers are armed, which can be confirmed on the engine warning display. Notice that as the landing gear is down and as we are below 1500 feet AGL, the landing memo has appeared. Below VFE, flap 3 can now be selected. Select flap 3. Flap 3 is set. Although flap 3 may be used for landing, the normal configuration is flap Full. Select flap full. Flap full is set and the speed is constant at V approach, the final approach speed. You can check on the landing memo that the aircraft is now fully configured for landing. In normal law, passing 50 feet, the system memorizes the aircraft attitude. It progressively reduces this attitude. Therefore, the pilots have to perform a gentle flare as for a conventional aircraft. At touchdown, with the main landing gear compressed, the ground spoilers deploy automatically and operate as lift dumpers, provided the thrust levers are at idle or reverse. Spoiler extension can be monitored by the pilot non-flying on the ECAM wheel page. Note, if only one main landing gear leg is compressed, the ground spoilers will extend partially, thereby decreasing the lift and compressing both main landing gear legs. Ground spoilers will then deploy fully. If a go-around is performed, the ground spoilers will automatically retract when the power is applied. As part of the after landing phase, the ground spoilers should be disarmed. Disarm the ground spoilers. The flaps should now be retracted. Select flap 0. This concludes the normal operation of flight controls.